Today, I'm going to show you how to use Microsoft ClipChamp to create a video. Additionally, insert media and give you the sources I use to create videos. But today, we'll just cover ClipChamp. Here's the screen share option which you are viewing right now. And here is where you will use text-to-speech, but we will come back to that. ClipChamps has a variety of templates. These are useful for themes and ideas. I suggest exploring this area when you get the chance. Music and sound effects. When you're ready to insert audio, you can import your own or use stock images and sound effects from ClipChamp. There is a variety of options to connect your other accounts for easy access to all of your media. Heading into the Music and Sound Effects tab, you can see there are more themes set up. Premium members have full access, but there are thousands of options ClipChamps offers free of charge. I found their themes to be pretty well-rounded. Take time to explore this area as well. I have not had an issue sharing any of this content on social media accounts. It will identify the creator and copyright protections, but the artists allow their media to be shared free of charge. While you search a good strategy to use would be to think of hashtags, because the media is also associated with themes and keywords. Navigating the audio clip is not difficult. Click play and click the area you wish to hear. Hovering over the clip, you'll notice the plus icon to add the sound to your video. The clip will be inserted wherever the white line is on your video. So make sure it's in the correct location first. Click the plus icon. Nice job. You just inserted a sound bite. The song will now be added to your media tab. It will load up, which is just a second. This is another premium account things, but you can back up your files, which I highly suggest if working on a large project. Make sure you've selected the sound you want and on the right it will give you options. Fading in and out is useful for transitions and blending two files together. I noticed when you layer sounds on top of one another they may differ from the playback in ClipChamp and the final video, but it's minimal. I suggest using the default and experimenting with short videos so you can get used to how it will look post-production. Notice when I slowed down the speed it pushed everything on that line to the right. If you have to go back and edit sounds be careful of this. Try edit sound in its own line on the screen for that. CC or closed captions is also an option here where the AI does a great job of creating a script for your audio. More closed captions in another video. Video and images. We will go over the free to use items for this video. You can see that the video and sound is similar. Scrolling over you can see the same options to navigate the video and insert it as well. There are some with transparent backgrounds and others with a different size format. The image tab is just the same. We will add a picture to the video so you can see how to adjust the size and format, and even crop. There are more options that will populate on the right which we will go over in this video. You can drag the image on the screen in all directions and change the video size as well. In just a minute we will already be set to dive right in, and I will show you how. Fit the image to the screen however you'd like. The text option is one of the nicer parts of this software. Let's view a couple. I've used the push through option so far in this video and your recent selections will be placed at the top which is awesome. Again, scroll over the image to get a preview. Beautiful. It's nice to see your options so you know the possibilities you can create. After inserting a text you can see the options on the side here. Play with the size and other options just as we have with the video and pictures. Notice we are editing the text and cannot see it on our viewing screen. That's because the white cursor line needs to be reset over the media we are editing. At the end of this video, we will create our own movie. Let's move to graphics. A couple nice things in here is the audio and visual progress I see many using. Graphics are basically videos that are edited as an overlay, so most have a transparent background. You will have tons of fun in graphics. Transitions. There are two ways to insert transitions into the video drag and drop as you see here or adding one right on the timeline. Let's go to our timeline and create it from there. Once you select one, it becomes the new default so if you want to change it up you'll have to change it here. There are the options again on the right side. The types vary and they have a decent selection of transitional options like this or even a video makes a good transition. At this point and depending on the video you could fade in and out which is another transitional point. Brand kit. This is a premium option, but I think you can get the gist of it here. I hope that wasn't the worst five minutes of your life. Please pause, like, and subscribe, and maybe get a drink. You're now ready to make a video. I've selected a song, a sound effect, video, picture, and a graphic and have inserted them on our timeline. 
We will use these to create the video. We could be done right now and save it, but let's take it a step further and really explore what we can do with what we have here. We inserted a graphic which allows us to create visual layers for our video. And how we do that is by overlapping the video, picture, or graphic like so. As you will become familiar with this program, you will create ideas and learn quick. My greatest videos were from exploring my options with all the goodies. Here's what we have so far. Pretty cool, but that's just the start. Let's start layering this thing like a birthday cake and play around with the options. This car and money is giving me a luxury vibe. Plus the sunset picture gives me an idea. Let's start shifting things around to see how they look. This is something that took me a while to learn, and I'm happy to share it with you today. First, you have to have an idea of how long your video is going to be, and that will determine a bunch. I went ahead and shortened our graphic to match my idea of a luxury type car that's just a short preview like a quick cut scene in a commercial. You can see me moving things around here to maximize the viewing area of the object, and I'm also starting to layer the video and pictures. Here's where you might go in and fade the video for effect, or adjust the sound of the video because you want it to be just in the background. The graphics are high quality frames per minute, so it's nice to slow down the speed. I do this sometimes to match the video segment and may adjust either end. You'll learn with layering that there is so many ways you can stack the images, but we have not even gotten to the good stuff yet. Check this out. When we get into the effects, it is where Clipchamp shines. Scrolling over the effects, you can get a preview. One of my favorite is the slow motion zoom on images. I use this to engage our eyes movement resembling a natural flow of sequences. The flow is your editing times and it is a skill. The reverse zoom is nice as well. You can select the box you see here to do so. Scrolling a bit further down we come to my favorite. And that's the black and white removal. The sweet satisfaction of a nice graphic. Adjusting the color threshold until you are comfortable with the outcome. You can also do this do white in this option, and there is the other options green screen to remove red, blue, and green. For a car video, there is no car yet, so let's change that. Notice when you select the car that it is still covered by the other layer. First, we must go there and adjust that. You can adjust the transparency on here to bring out the car, but let's go ahead and see what color removal will do. Back to the black and white removal or green screen. Definitely my go-to in Clipchamp. I thought about making the car appear in the clouds and maybe some flashing lights. Wow, that already looks like a nice video. I'm going to have the car come in at the end. I'm also going to play around with another great tool, the transition. Then I will go into another of my personal favorites, which is adjusting colors, which will take us to how the picture is inserted into the video. Adjust as much as you need to. The options are nearly endless. Stack the images or layers and rearrange them to see what you can come up with. You will see me stack the money video on top of the layers. Watch what happens. Again, stacking and adjusting is fun. I highly suggest the effects of Clipchamps. The blend mode works well with color removal and other effects within Clipchamp. Let's take the car to the top and see what we have. I love it. I want you to give this a try. There's no doubt you will learn something and will see the use in it right away. There is a few things we went over today. Keep in mind that the timeline is the video and your job is to fill it up. Become an artist with a blank canvas and really try merging your creativity with the capacity of Clipchamps. After the video is edited, we are able to export this and make a video MP4 file. It is free to use 1080, which is HD. With premium, you can export in 4K. A new screen will open up. There is a preview where you can track the progress. When the video is completed, an option to download the video will populate in the top right corner. Here is the video we created. Thanks for your time and keep an eye out for more videos in the future.